I want to turn now to a very important question. Are we expecting too much? Taking the time to process that question could be the secret to living life of true freedom, greater peace, and a whole lot more happiness. All right, yeah, and those secrets are all in the new book, Live Free, Exceed Your Highest Expectations, written by best-selling author and, of course, a friend of our show, Devon Franklin, who is with us. Now, Devon, i got to ask you this because this is actually really interesting to me. You say expectations can be or are dangerous, and I've always been someone who has set high expectations for myself, for my kids. I say you get what you expect. Where, do, where have I gone wrong? <laughs> That's a long Here's segment. Here's the thing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not, stop it, stop it, TJ. Uh, it's not that expectations themselves are, are the problem. It's just that when they're unset, what happens is we end up living a life that's not based in reality. You know, we set ourselves up for disappointment and unhappiness. Why? Because we keep focusing on what's yet to come at the expense of what is. And sometimes when our expectations are not set, we are literally putting pressures and weight on ourselves, on the people we love. And I, in my experience, that's detrimental. Okay, have, have you all, I should take a poll in here. Have, in some relationship, you've said to somebody, it seems like you're trying to let them down easy by saying, it's not you, it's me, right? People use that phrase all the time, <laughs> but, but you're kind of turning that on its head a little bit when it comes to expectations, how? Because it, it's, here's the reality, it's so easy to point the finger. In a relationship, it's easy to point the finger and say, you're the problem. No, no, no. Put the finger in the mirror and the problem is us. Because it's not them, it's us. It's me. A lot of times in relationships, we have unspoken expectations. And unless we communicate our expectations, nobody's going to know what it is we actually want. When you set an expectation in a relationship, you've got to ask two questions. Is it in your control? And have you communicated it? And most of the times, we're trying to control people. We do not not control mm. and we're trying to get them to do things we have not communicated <laughs> this is why we have to look inside and say wait is it my expectation that is causing the problem or is it actually them and in my experience and the reason why i wrote this book is because most of the time it is us yep yep no i mean that is so true you just hit the nail on the head and i love this next uh, thing you're going <laughs> to talk about because i've been working on this not being invested in the outcome but being invested in the process so tell us about that because it's so important yeah, it's so often we are so results addicted. We are so focused on, you know, getting what we want that we miss what we can control. Again, a set expectation. We live free. We set our expectations. And that's based upon focusing on the process. Every day we get up, we focus on how we our attitude. We focus on our discipline. Let's say you want a promotion. Most of the time we don't control the actual promotion unless we are the boss. But what we can control is how hard we work. We can control what type of colleague we are. We can control type of teammate we are so we focus on the process and what's our real sixth sense you say <laughs> faith faith is the real sixth sense man you know we walk by faith not by sight and so often when it comes to our relationship with god we sometimes get disappointed because we feel like certain prayers haven't been answered but when we close our eyes we can see a vision for our life and we got to use that vision to guide us and we have to participate in the process so faith is without a doubt the real sixth sense but participation without expectation equals devastation so in order to avoid devastation we have to participate and we have to expect and let god do the rest so the sixth sense is not i see dead people okay <gasps> just making sure all right <laughs> no I see my future. That's the sixth sense. Perfect. <laughs> Devon Franklin, Live Free is now available wherever books are sold. Thank you so much. And TJ, stop shaking your head at me. I'm not shaking my head at all. You all just went into a whole whisper song here almost. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.